హాయ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అల్పన మీరు చూస్తున్నారు కేఏబి టెలివిజన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈ క్లాసెస్ సీనియర్ ఇంటర్ సబ్జెక్టుల్లో దేనికి అదే ప్రత్యేకత కలిగి ఉన్నాయి భారీ సంఖ్యలో ఉన్న విద్యార్థులకు ప్రతి విషయం చేరదు కొన్నిసార్లు సందేహాలున్నా అడగడానికి జంకే విద్యార్థులు సహజంగానే వెనకబడిపోతారు ఈ ధోరణి మానుకోవాలి సందేహం కలిగితే తక్షణం అడిగి క్లారిటీ తీసుకోవడం అత్యంత అవసరం ఇక ఈనాటి ఈ క్లాస్లోకి ఎంటర్ అయిపోదామా ఇక ఈనాటి మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ టూ ఏ పేపర్లోని మ్యాట్రిసెస్ చాప్టర్లోని సిస్టమ్ ఆఫ్ ఈక్వేషన్స్తో పాటు ఫ్రామర్స్ రూల్ మరియు గాస్ జోర్డాన్ మెథడ్ గురించి తెలుసుకుందాం ఈ క్లాస్ను మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ బోధనలో విశేష అనుభవం ఉన్న డి శేషకుమార్ గారు వివరిస్తారు మరి మ్యాట్రిసెస్ చాప్టర్లోని సిస్టమ్ ఆఫ్ ఈక్వేషన్స్తో పాటు క్రామర్స్ రూల్ మరియు గాస్ జోర్డాన్ మెథడ్ నేర్చుకుందాం I am going to discuss the how to solve system of non-homogeneous equations by using the matrices. But in this case already we discussed the there are the three methods to discuss. I think one is matrix inversion method and other is Kramer's method and other is Gauss-Zordan method. Among these three methods for intermediate it's a very very important topic is Gauss-Zordan method. so that's why first i discuss the what the how to solve a system of equations by using gauss jordan method so now i am going to discuss the gauss jordan method gauss jordan method in this gauss jordan method we have to solve another part see here they will give you a system of non homogeneous equations let it may be considered as a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equal to d1 again you can write a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equal to d2 this is the third equation everybody will know this a3x plus b3y plus c3z is equal to d3 now we write from this system of equations we write an augmented matrix augmented matrix what we call this as augmented matrix what is the meaning of augmented matrix in this augmented matrix we write the matrix ab we write the matrix ab this can written as like this a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 but i didn't completed this matrix the reason is in the last column i am writing the these constants those constants are d1 d2 d3 now you observe this i think i put the some dotted line here for our convenience this is matrix a and this is b combinedly we can write it's an augmented matrix ab so this is the augmented matrix ab so this augmented matrix ab can be solved by using the elementary row operations or column operations by making them into a an identity matrix once again repeating here it is an augmented matrix in this augmented matrix this is the part a this is the part b this entire matrix will be converted by using some algebraic operations that is elementary algebraic operations we convert this as like this alpha 1 and 0 1 0 alpha 2 0 0 1 alpha 3 then alpha 1 will become the x x value alpha 2 will become the y value alpha 3 will become the z value so this is a conversion of an augmented matrix into our required form so by using these methods we can get the x value y value and z value so this is the case of the solving of any system of equation by using the gauss jordan method 
right. We will take an example based on this. Just now we discussed the only the thing how to solve a system of equations by using Gauss Jordan method. Now I can consider the one example based on that we can write the we can solve it then you may be very easy to understand this. Okay. So I took the one example. So they will in this example sir first of all they will specify especially in the board of intermediate everybody will specify solve the system of equations by using particular method that method is they mentioned it if they mentioned the inverse matrix method you have to solve by using inverse matrix method only if they mentioned the Kramer's rule you have to solve by using Kramer's rule only if they mentioned by using Gauss Jordan method you should apply the Gauss Jordan method so try to understand what method you have to solve that method they will provide in the board of intermediate question it's a very very important part so this you take care about that don't apply the if they ask the one method if you do the in your own method you can't get the marks first focus on this marks are very very important for us so that's why I am collecting a one question here I am giving the one question solve the system of equations by using Gauss Jordan method they will provide the completely the question as like this solve the following system solve the system by using Gauss Jordan method by using Gauss Jordan method this is an important thing first of all what method you they mentioned Gauss Jordan method is important here okay what the system what they provided here they provide the like this the first equation is given as 2x minus y plus 3z is equal to 9 and second equation they given as x plus y plus z is equal to 6 x plus y plus z is equal to 6 they provide the second equation as x plus y plus z is equal to 6 and thirdly they provided x minus y plus z is equal to given as 2 okay this system we have to solve already we discussed the general method how to solve a system of equation by using Gauss Jordan method just previously I discussed that only here to solve this you should write the augmented matrix what is the augmented matrix already you know that so there you have to write the augmented matrix as AB so before going to that first I convert this entire system into matrix equation form once again repeating I am converting this entire equation into matrix equation form that is AX is equal to B I think everybody will know that how to write the AX is equal to B even though I am discussing that A is the coefficient matrix write all the coefficients in the list form 2 minus 1 3 1 1 1 1 minus 1 1 this is the coefficient matrix <coughs> And again here variable matrix x y z we are writing it again here constant matrix 9 6 2 this is the part okay 2 minus 1 3 1 1 1 1 minus 1 1 x y z 9 6 2 I am considered like this this is matrix equation form by using this matrix equation form we start the augmented matrix we write the augmented matrix everybody will know that what is the meaning of augmented matrix it is denoted by a b you remember one thing very very important point here to solve any system by using Gauss Jordan method you must write augmented matrix I am writing the augmented matrix here augmented matrix this in this augmented matrix we write the a b this a b is write the a write the b a is here 2 minus 1 3 again 1 1 1 1 minus 1 1 and here you have to write the b that b is 9 6 2 now this is the augmented matrix right you got the augmented matrix already I discussed like this only when augmented matrix is completed you should apply the elementary row operations or column operations by using 
by using here elementary row operations or column operations we may write this matrix into this form but you remember one thing while solving the gauss jordan method you have to take care about that we can't apply the column operations we can apply only row operations we may we can apply only row operations we are unable to apply the elementary column operations once again repeating that's a very very important point also you should take care about this one majority of the students may mislead here only here the thing is first one in the gauss jordan method to convert into identity matrix you have to apply only row operations you may utilize n number of row operations but you didn't have the right to apply column operations so that is an important thing first right right what are the aims and how you convert this into your part it's a part no. 